me and Anita on our way to Barkhouse Hill. Come across the Yield Bridge. Come on, Anita. In that one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hopefully doing four ethels today. Well, optimistically. Let's park out still. Let's see how we do. Yeah. We knack it when we get up there. I did try to persuade the need to do five, but she wimped out. Let's see you do this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit more steep. I'm getting a bit moist. Alright. Alright, up and at him. Donkey grass. Hang on. I've only fallen once and I need to strip my trousers. Alright, strip my trousers. There we go. Oh my god. Full summit. Half the full summit. And another one. Sheep on top of grass. Oh, can I still? Ethel number 15. Look at the view. Use my face. <laughs> Tell me there's a way down. That doesn't need to be going back. Is there a way down there or is it a case of one way? Oh, that's alright then, that's not too bad. We'll fall over first then. Ethel number 15 for some. Ethel number 7 for our neat. And the plebs at the top wouldn't move. So we didn't get a, didn't get a peek to ourselves. At least if he's got vertigo, he's going to be there all day. <laughs> scared of heights and comes up to a peak. Whoop! <laughs> it's either brave or stupid. <laughs> yeah. He says going down, it's going up. Or is it going down? Well, that's all right. The route next, anyway. <laughs> oh. It's a small hill. We're just a little down. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm putting the phone away. <laughs> well, 
ladies and gentlemen up there. We're about to go. Don't do it! I wouldn't. Go the other way. I'd go the other way. No, I'd go back where you came. Go back where you came. Unless you want to do it all on your bun. It, it starts to give way. It starts to give way, so I'd go back. Okay. I mean, man with vertigo, wife, six year old kid, doing that. For those at home thinking I'm mocking him, it's not vertigo, it's no slope for him. Plus, it's not a real slope for me. And no slope for an eater. It's alright, it's like a ranting boat, though, it's fall over like me. But the thing is, you have to charge it in the wind, and uh, that was bloody steep. Stop recording. That's <laughs> Far Cows Hill. Just came down here. Didn't video it. Too windy. Spent most of it on my arse. There's an eater. I'll do the next one now. Oh dear. Phone's covered in mud. That's definitely one to do. Not to do again. On to the next Ethel. Be able to hear a thing. So that's where we come from. Here's the dragon's back. Here's an E. Yeah. And going up to Crow Mill where the ants are at the top. Oh, people. Oh well. Play it back and you can't hear a thing that you said to yourself anyway. Yeah. 425. I'm tagging the apple, you've got to tag the top, haven't you? That's got to be. Grow mill! And then I fall backwards. Alright, next to Ethel's then. Enjoy. I did that. <laughs> You're going to want to go that way. And Eater says we're going that way. <laughs> the only thing I'm thinking is if we do that far one first, look at that steep hill that's going to come up. Yeah, yeah, do the, do the gentle But if we do well, the gentle slope there, there the eh, then we go there, yeah, yeah. and off to there. Yeah, that's the most steep difference, isn't it? No, that's steeper. Well, I mean, Oh, distance-wise it's the same, but L-wise, are we doing that though? Of course, didn't you? Have you ticked it off? 
Chrome Hill. Chrome Hill. district. For the first time afternoon. Back end of Chrome Hill and in the distance where we came over was Park House Hill. People powering through. And there's Crow Mill on the way down. Go! Never drink from the stream. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Probably won't show up. I need to give up after two. Hey. She said she couldn't hack it. Hey. <laughs> That's the other one, it says straight up that way. What? Across the, yeah, it is across the road. Yeah. Across the... Well, those are the two we did. That one was a right so and so. And then Chrome Hill. We're going to do a whole end hill, but run out of water, run out of steam, and seven miles already. So we'll catch it next time. Lovely to see Anita again. I was a bit ambitious thinking that uh, I'd do four. Uh, when I did four, well, a week before last, um, they were a lot closer together. These were big in comparison. I mean, Park House Hill. That was really steep. Um, met family at the top, a gentleman that had a fear of heights. We came, we went, we went from Hollingsclough and then we went to the right and went up Parkhouse Hill first. Um, coming down the side, it, it was just like scree, it was all breaking away. Um, it was very steep. It, yeah, it didn't. Yeah, it didn't scare you. It was very, very windy. Um, so the wind was blowing you back onto the onto the hill. So um, it wasn't that bad. But the poor guy behind me who had um, a few of heights, so we just shouted from the bottom, turn around, go back the other way. There was no way he would have come down there. I mean, there was one point that I couldn't film, couldn't do anything. Me and these were just both physically three points of contact on the rock. Perhaps other people can go up and down there like Bambi's. We certainly didn't. Um, then the, uh, when we got to the peak bit, we thought, well, that'd be right, peak steps, brilliant. No, fell. Luckily fell on my arse. Went down about 10 feet on my arse. Uh, that was all right. Yeah, shit happens, we all keep turning. Um, but that was a steep one. I mean, it's steep going up, but it was, it was what they call, I would call technical coming down. Um, going up the dragon's back, and that, that was a nice little bit uh, before going up Crow Mill. Crow Mill from that side just seemed to be false summit after false summit after false summit. Eventually, get to the top. There's about 10 people there. I mean, a couple of days ago I came out, I didn't see anybody all day. Go out for a walk with an eater, to buy a couple of apples, and there's bodies everywhere. 
twirlies. Nothing wrong with twirlies. You've got to get out of the back. Good luck to them. But it's almost like there should be an unwritten rule. Perhaps it's me just waffling. There should be an unwritten rule. Rule? Rule. See, tongue, mouth, disconnection from brain. Unwritten rule. If you've been sat at the top for 15 minutes and you see someone coming up, then shouldn't you really give them the summit for themselves? Yeah, I just may probably be being petty, but it's like, wouldn't it have been nice just to have that summit for 10 minutes before the next lot behind us came? Uh, time I got Crow Mill, I could feel that I was starting to flag. Um, I mean, it was a biggie, it was a long slog up. I mean, I could do the distances. The distances aren't the issue. It's, it's the inclines, and they were the steep inclines. Steady inclines were all right. Steep inclines. Um, the whole thing should be, I think it's about 4.5 mile round. But after we came off Chrome Hill, we decided to head right out to one which... Uh, People at Bag Ethels will know it used to be um, the uh, sort of anti aircraft uh, lookout over the airfield on Second World War and munitions uh, storage. We started to go that way. At that point, I realised I was out of water. I had loads of painkillers. My back was killing me. My legs were killing me. My feet were killing me. I just had to say to an eater, look, I'm sorry, I'm done. Hollins Hill was going to be on the way back, but I just had no water. It's absolutely roasting out here. Yeah, of course, I need to really give me some more water, but I was absolutely shattered and I was completely out of water. So we came back. According to Google timeline, which has to be verified by Anita's step counter, Google timeline says 8.3 miles. Uh, if we'd done the, uh, the recommended and done the routes and we'd actually gone over Hollins Hill, um, it would have been a lot shorter. So in a way I shot myself in the foot by not wanting to do Hollins Hill and we ended up coming back from halfway to the anti-aircraft one or was it halfway quarter way there and then having to circumvent uh hollins hill that ended up walking more miles so two ethels backed very very enjoyable day nice to catch up with anita um Hopefully Amanda will come out with me next week and do some ethyls, which I'm really looking forward to, introducing us to the Peak District. Um, but it still leaves me Hollins Hill to do, which I will leave for another time. Um, I'm not saying it's a biggie, I'm not saying it's a nemesis, I'm not saying I can't do it. I just couldn't do it today. You've got to be able to put your hand up at one point and say, you know what, I can't do it. And today was the day. No water. Well, ran out of water. Pain everywhere. Time to put my hand up and said, sorry, Anita, I can't do it. So there you go. But a very, very enjoyable day. Another two Ethels in the bag. Total's coming on nicely. Got a little total this. But it's coming on nicely. Catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one.